that. It's, but I want you to know that I will, I will do everything in my power to, to make a fresh start with him. Thank you. Included in that fresh start is going to be moving out of here. I want a place of our own. I, I don't want some places associated with everything else that's going on. Well, I'm certainly not going to argue with you on that one. Good. Start. What about Friday? Friday? Our wedding day. Oh, oh. Now, don't tell me you don't have time to make plans. Because this whole thing doesn't have to be a whole big number. Yes, sir. And Pat, um... I think we ought to postpone the honeymoon for a while. Just, just for a little while. What do you think? And thank you for saying that. Maybe, maybe the three of us can get away for a couple of weeks or so. Does Brian know how to ski? He never has. Well, good, good. Then I can be the one that teaches him. I'll teach you, too. If you're mad enough. Okay. Anything you say, my dear. Does that include Friday? Is there anything wrong with that? He has. 
happens to be a colleague of your husband. Well, you make it sound like I seduced him on the terrace or something. What difference does it make that he works with Larry? Peter happens to be a gentleman. And that kind of thing would put him in a very awkward position. You think about it, Karen. And then tomorrow we'll discuss it.
gave you the number of my direct line. Oh, well, how have you been? Lonely. I missed you, Karen. Thought about your life. Oh, really? Maybe we can do something about that. Oh, I'd be delighted. Well, I have to go shopping this afternoon. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be at Lella God at 2 o'clock for a sitting. <laughs> I thought maybe we could meet there and, I, and have a drink or something afterwards. A uh, drink or something? That's right. Well, as it happens, I am free this afternoon. Uh, 2 o'clock, you say? Right. At Lella God. Oh, fine. See you then. Marvelous. Um, and uh, thank you so much for sitting me in, Doctor. What? Oh, there's somebody else there. That's right. Uh, it, it began to hurt last night after dinner, and this morning it's really killing me. Well, we'll have to do something about that, won't we? See you at two. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh! Good morning, Marco. Good morning. Medical problem? No. Settled. I have a loose filling, and, um... Uh, Anytime anything hot or cold hits, it kills me. Yeah, I'll bet. Whoa! Oh. Look, I hope your uh, dental appointment doesn't interfere with Dorian's plans for the day. I just left her at breakfast and she's in a lousy mood. So what else is new? Every morning she comes in, do this, do that. Uh, Karen, don't her. aggravate her, all right? She's got a low threshold of tolerance for people who irritate her. If you don't keep bright-eyed and snappy, she's liable to ask you to move. Do you like that? Actually, it's immaterial to me. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. After all, I could never replace you because I'm a woman. But if I were you, I'd uh, keep my back to the wall when Peter Jensen's in the room. Come on, Karen. Peter's just one of her social, respectable friends. Oh, and a social, respectable friend and gentleman like Peter Jensen can't have an affair with a lady like Dorian. She's perfectly happy with the status quo. He said modestly. Mm. Well, actually, Marco, I, I think you're right about that uh, tolerance thing with Dorian. She got a little irritated with me because she thought I was flirting with Peter Jackson last night. And uh, I think she may be ready to make a change. Karen, have you been to the bank already? No, I haven't gone yet, Dorian. Didn't you I was say you were going to go first thing in the morning? Yes, I, I did, but, but I it's after 9 o'clock, and the banks are open for business. Now, here. Here are a few other things I would like you to do after that. Uh, we'll get to it, Dorian. May I have some time off this afternoon? Uh, I have a loose filling. I have an appointment at the dentist. You can fit me in around 2 o'clock. Well, I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to get all of that done before 2 o'clock. Well, I'll try. I think you better do more than just try. Do it. Anyway, I called the office and I told him that I wanted the rest of the week off. You know, I figured it would be better if I spent as much time with Brian as possible to kind of cushion the shock. Well, that seems wise, although I'm sure that Brian is going to accept your decision. As soon as he sees just how happy you are. Look, he's a very bright, sensitive boy. Well, I hope so. I'll tell you, I am just so glad that the decision has been made that we're not hanging in this terrible limbo anymore. And Friday is the day, huh? It is. Anyway, the, um, the reason that I have asked you here is, uh, I would like you to be my matron of honor. Would you? Oh, I would be delighted. Thank you very much for asking. Oh, good, 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 good. I'll tell you, we haven't got, you know, the time and the place worked out just yet. But as soon as we know all of the details, I'll let you know. Good. Hey. Hello, Brian. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mrs. Riley. Mom, my head still hurts. Is it time for my medicine yet? Yes. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. I'll go up and give it to you. Yeah, I've got some studying to do. Oh, well, then, uh, did you call me? No. 
worst as well as the worst of people. And as far as Tony is concerned, I... I think he did a great deal to cause his own father's death. Not intentionally. Tony never means to do anything wrong, but... That's certainly the effect that he has on people, on the lives that he's touched. Why don't you go up and check? And if he is awake, bring him down, and we'll tell him right now. 